underwater welding. You may want to switch careers after this. While it may be a high-paying job with some awesome perks, underwater welding is also one of the most dangerous jobs on the planet. Here are nine things about underwater welding you didn't know. Nine. Special training is required. With any good trade, there is some special training involved, and wet welding pays no exception. In order to provide the service, one must be trained in both scuba diving and welding. Yet, this is something you don't need to go to a four-year college for. Underwater, the more hands-on experience means the more valuable an employee is. The more time having spent under the mask, the more cash in your pocket. That is, if you make it up to the surface alive. 8. Pool Tools of the Trade Underwater welding exposes the worker to the dangers of electricity, as typically they use 300 or 400 amps of electric current to power their tools. The most common form of welding underwater is arc welding. Here, a stick electrode recreates the process of dry welding, except with a special feature of cooling the water and providing safer insulation at the same time. 7. Underwater welders can help protect the environment. Considering the high volume of offshore oil rigs with pipelines that travel through various depths of the ocean, these hazardous monstrosities are always in need of monitoring and repair. Oil spills are some of the worst things that can happen to nature, killing ecosystems and marine life in instants. So, welding is a sure way to secure and ensure broken or weakening metal doesn't occur, keeping all leaks at bay. 6. A way to see the world The high-risk trade is a service needed all over the world, so the options are limitless, with where you can live and travel to get a job done. As the location is adaptable, so is the flexibility. As when one gets tired of the task itself, they can easily become a teacher to those who want to follow the same career path. There is no age limit on who can hold this position, with the only concern being strength and the physical ability to get the job done. An intense medical exam beforehand will determine the level of your stamina and whether you have what it takes. 5. You can't beat their office Due to the dangers and risks involved, wet welding is an absolute last resort, though oftentimes it must be done. These daring divers are responsible for repairing everything from pipelines, offshore drilling rigs, ships, dams, locks, subsea habitats and nuclear power facilities, to name a few. The location is always changing, and the scenery isn't so bad either, as underwater welders are surrounded by their own personal in-office fish tank around the clock. On the contrary, imagine a workspace that had everything from stinging jellies to sharks swimming around you while trying hard to focus on an already potentially fatal task. Nothing is sure to attract predators like an underwater high-voltage firework display and a wetsuit highly resembling the blubber of a seal. Before we continue, please take a moment to subscribe to What Lurks Below and hit the bell to get notified of future releases such as this one. Four, there are risks involved. The main risk of taking on a job in the underwater field is being in the way of an electric current. The risk decreases, as with anything, when you become more aware of your surroundings and environment. Working underwater always poses pressure-related risks as well. For example, decompression-related illnesses involve the amount of pressure and gases you will breathe while getting the job done. One of the most dangerous hazards to divers are known as delta P hazards. Here, different pressure occurs when two bodies of water cross each other with a different water level, such as the water levels of a dam. The difference in depth lends a difference in pressure, and suddenly water attempts to rush from one body to the next with immense force. Delta P's are always undetectable until it's too late to escape, as once it hits, the pressure makes it almost impossible to move. A diver who becomes trapped in the bottleneck of the flow has an incredibly high risk of drowning. 3. It's high paying Essentially, wet welding is the same as on land. 
metals are fused together to repair an immovable structure, but with electricity and water involved. Throw in the possibility of intense pressure threatening to crush the body, and one can see this trade is no fun task. As with any challenging and high demand position, however, there is a high salary involved. We're talking base pay that's around $100 per hour. Of course, the rate itself depends on the task, as well as the depth of the location. If someone wanted to make some quick cash in a short amount of time, then wet welding is the way to do it. But not without proper training, as this job mandates a high degree of skill in both welding and diving. According to commercial divers and global stats, the approximate starting pay per year is $54,000. However, the top 10% of underwater divers can see a salary upwards of $80,000 annually. The most advanced and experienced welders will earn as much as $300,000 US dollars based on a six month work year. The pay is shockingly competitive. And what's even more enticing is that you don't have to work year round. 2. Bubbles can save lives or cause deaths. Who thought bubbles can save someone's life? They are extremely important in underwater welding, as a large gaseous bubble typically forms around the welding arc and acts as the diver's main protectant. Yet, while they may help in the welding process, they can also yield grave danger. There are always more bubbles produced than necessary, and being underwater creates an uncontrollable and unstable environment. Therefore, the bubbles often fly up and block all visibility. Bubbles can be the cause of a completely failed mission as well, as the final result of it all collapsing. Do you think you have what it takes? 1. The most dangerous job in the world It's no secret that underwater, the odds are stacked against you. The pressure threatens to restrict and crush your body, as giant swells of bubbles block your eyesight and make already dangerous tasks even more life-threatening. So, here are the risks in order of bad to worse. There is always risk of a welder burning themselves, there is an even higher risk of electrocution, and when it comes to explosions, well, the constant emulsion of H2 and O2 mean the possibility of an explosion could likely happen at any moment. How many die from this highly specialised mode of underwater construction? 11 a year. And the final cause is always the result of drowning, as there are only approximately 6,500 active underwater welders in the world, 11 per year is a high number, and it's clear that the life expectancy of an underwater welder is nowhere the same as your typical white-collar office worker. Rather, welder divers die at a rate that is 40 times America's national average. While many people turn to electrocution as the number one cause, there is much more accurate science to wet welding than people give it credit for. This means a diver is highly skilled and knows how to take every precaution when joining metals in the water. Subsequently then, accidents are mere accidents, as an underwater welder knows exactly what to do to stay safe, even utilising a specialised protected rubberised dry suit. With so many deaths, Researchers turned to age as a possible answer. In a study performed between 2002 and 2014, lack of experience was put into question as a consensus was reached. The average death for a wet welder was around 35. Since a majority of welders go to school at age 20, this would give them 10 to 15 years of experience in the field. The conclusion was that deaths don't occur due to the amount of hands on experience a diver has. It is purely up to fate. So, as we can see, proper preparation and training are crucial for the safety of an underwater welder. Their life simply depends on it. Still wondering if this is the job for you? Just like land construction, commercial divers are necessary and thus in high demand and are compensated accordingly for being brave enough to put their lives on the line. Accountability and safety precautions make all the difference in a job such as this. So, if you have what it takes, take the plunge. And keep in mind that life expectancy doesn't rely on one factor alone. What's the worst job you've ever done for a paycheck? Post your comments here and subscribe to What Lurks Below for more marine mysteries of the deep.